In 2018, we left all we had ever known behind in Florida to make our way to Alaska in an attempt to drive our truck camper from Alaska to Argentina. We made it to the top of the world and turned south only to confront one challenge after another. But along the way, we fell in love with the road and realized that our call to wander would need an RV with a little more space. So we sold our truck camper and purchased a 22-year-old Class C motorhome that needed just a little bit of TLC. This is the story of how we spent six months remodeling our new home on the road. Hey, baby. Hey. We're done with the priming. Finally. Aren't you excited? Yes. Welcome back to our RV. We are done priming, which means, can only mean one thing. It's time for real paint. Leaving it white. <laughs> well, I guess. I mean, it's it's a tinted white. So it looks... No, no, no. I mean, like, leaving it white. Leaving it primed. Just no, leave it primed. No, That's it. No, we are painting it. Then we're done. Over the primer. Okay. Today is a painting day. But it's going to be a fun painting day because we're putting this nice... It's the finishing ...light gray paint. on the walls. Well, and then it's, it's a white that's has a tinted gray okay so it's it. a gray that we're putting on the walls and you're putting white on the cabinets yes and we're gonna make it look all fantastic almost there the goal today is to be totally done painting everything inside and all the cabinets and the drawers Hopefully. so we can start moving things back in but that will be the goal that it only need one coat because we did two coats of primer mm -hmm. so one coat of this white that's tinted gray or gray that's tinted white and uh, we should do one coat of that one coat of Hopefully. you putting this beautiful paint on and then um, start ripping down all this plastic and the blue tape and mm -hmm. it's gonna start looking like a camper again sitting on a toilet doing my business <laughs> doing my painting business kind of nice to be able to sit on a toilet come over here do a little painty paint look at that our other camper you sit on the toilet that's about all you can do you take a shower while you sit on the toilet can't do that here I can paint 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 this has a much bigger bathroom yeah, our bathroom's the size of our entire... Oops. Yep. You're gonna have to come over that white. Yep. I've already done that a few times, Chris. But not until... Think about what you're doing. Are you preaching <laughs> to me? Yes, I am. Good thing we're not having children. Because I have to fix your mistakes. Good thing we're not having children. I'd hate for you to have to preach to them. Poor kids. I'd help them run away. Please be careful. Thank you. Voila! Voila! This is our lightly tinted gray white. Lightly tinted white? Grayly tinted white? What'd you call it? Grayly tinted white. Grayly tinted white? White with a hint of gray. White with a hint of gray. Sounds like a meal. You can see the difference on the camera. Can see you? That? Yeah. What do you guys think? Beautiful. I like it. So we realized that 
while we're repairing the camper, we don't have a lot of beautiful images of awesome, amazing places that we're going that you're used to. And, um, I just made a mistake. Oh, you made a mistake now. Uh -huh. I didn't think the phone would reach there. We're trying to show you that we do have drama in our lives. We're not like the real housewives of, of what's it? Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills or New York or whatever. So we're not like Jersey Shore, but we do have drama. We should put cameras around like Big Brother. And then, um, but Lindsay and I had this serious debate because I want to be healthy and I created this menu and I think that it was pretty reasonable to have a menu that I would like to eat because I would eat McDonald's every day of the week. I'm that kind of guy, except I can't be or else I'm going to die and I don't want to die. So Lindsay's taught me that I can't cook anymore because she's taken over cooking duties. I've forgotten how to cook. But this past week has been really hard because I've been on my feet all day long painting. And then when I'm done, I don't feel like cooking. What does it have to do with my menu? <laughs> so food has been like an aggravating subject this week. That's what it has to do with the menu. Oh, and you haven't gone grocery so, shopping. We got no Because food. we've been busy. We got no food. What am I gonna eat? Like right now I'm hungry. What am I gonna eat for lunch? What am I going to eat for lunch? I, I cut up peppers for I don't me. even have lunch. Oh, I'm gonna I eat. cut up peppers. I'm going to eat peppers. What am I, a freaking rabbit? So, yeah. mm -hmm. You're the one that I'm wanted gonna eat, to be a vegetarian. I'm going to eat peppers. He's the one who told me he wanted to be a vegetarian. For like three months, because i got 20 pounds i got to lose. Yeah, I want to be vegetarian, but I don't want to just eat cut up peppers. It's freaking, who just eats peppers? Is there a pepper diet mm, out there? It's a Pepper, you use a sandwich bread instead of bread. Okay. And you put your tuna in it. Okay. Yeah. I don't have any tuna. I don't have, have any chicken. Tuna. I don't have. I don't have food. We have canned tuna. Lindsay, I didn't get this big by not eating. There's our our drama for the week. It centers around food, which is food. a good thing to be arguing over. Food. Am I right, guys? It's kind of right. It is worth arguing over. Mm, maybe. You know what else is worth arguing over? What? Remember when we got married? Okay. We had that ceremony. Don't touch the wall you just painted. We had that cake. Uh-huh. What did you no, do? No, don't do that. Because I'm going to do it to you. No! Lindsay's done with her part, doing all the cabinet trim. I had all the walls, and you can see this one over here. It is right there. You can see white, gray. I gotta go back and finish that up. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna roll it. What I realized in using the, the paint gun is that I'm just not a gun person. Used it at first when we put the primer on for the first layer, and I didn't do a good, very good job. The sprayer didn't use it, do a very good job. It was a cheap one, like 45, 50 bucks. So maybe if we invested in a, um, a nicer spray gun, it would work better, but um, I didn't like it. So we're going old school. We've been rolling and using the paintbrush for trimming and that's my that's how I feel good. It's, uh, it's kind of therapeutic for me. Put some music on, just kind of zone out. Think about nothing as I'm stroking back and forth with the paintbrush or the roller. Anyway, we are almost done in the inside with I think it's only going to take one layer. I'm looking at it right now. 
I think we're going to be good with one layer of, of the, what does Lindsay call it? The white with gray tint or however it works out. And hopefully that's the case because then we're pretty much done with the painting. And this has been a hellacious job. If you're going to do a big remodel like what we're doing, um, pull out everything because then you can make a big mess. And so we pulled out all the appliances, pretty much all the drawers, all the cabinets, all the doors, everything that could possibly get in the way, the carpet. Um, so now we can paint and make a big mess and it's no big deal. We can drip paint and it's no big deal. In fact, we're not freaking out about having dripped paint because on the floor, we're going to put all of our, um, our flooring down. And so that's going to cover up all the paint there. And, uh, the walls have been nice. We've been really careful with how we've done the corners and, um, it should look really nice. We well, probably can't really tell, but there's gray and white. We've now officially painted the entire camper. Lindsay couldn't paint outside because there was strong wind and it was kicking leaves everywhere and she was a fit. So she's off seeing a friend to calm down. Um, she wasn't that, that crazy, um, but she did go see a friend. I finished up the painting inside. Now I get to go to work, go serve some food at the restaurant where I've been working. Um, where I worked through the summer and then they let me come back. So I'm gonna go do a shift of slinging some seafood around Getting to hang out with some awesome people and then we will uh, well, Lindsay's gonna come back in tonight She's gonna finish off the drawers and then hopefully by tomorrow. We're ready to wrap everything up with the paint job Get all the tape off the ceilings off the walls get all the plastic out of here put all the cabinets back up That'll be awesome. So I'm hoping that happens tomorrow, but for now Got to sign off. I'm signing off. Lindsay will be kicking back in uh, shortly. And uh, yeah, this is progress. Excited.